What's up guys, Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I bought this EDC pouch. This one's from Enjoy Deal, and it's kind of in that, what they call mud, but I'm calling it flat dark earth or coyote tan. Um, it's uh, pretty cool, and I just want to show this one to you because I think it's a really good size and a really nice little uh, feature-rich EDC pouch. Now, what can you use them for? You know, what I want to do here is put like a multi-tool in them, a little first aid kit, a little survival kit, you know, a, a ferro rod, um, just some kind of real, really typical things, a, a solar blanket, so that I don't always have to take like my day pack or like my um, kind of hiking day pack out with me. You know, this is something I could slap on my hip, throw in a pack if I wanted to, put it on my belt, whatever it might be, um, and have a lot of stuff there just in case, just in case something goes down. Um, and you, you know, have to treat uh, someone with a, a cut or um, a sprained ankle or, like I said, uh, someone falls through ice. Who knows? Whatever. But uh, here's the EDC pouch itself. Like I said, it's pretty small. I, I busted out this Coke can here just to kind of give you an idea of how big it is. And in fact, what I think I can do is if we open up this main pouch, which has two zippers, both of which metal, paracord um, with these little plastic tabs on the end. Um, so there's definitely two of them. I could probably put this whole thing in here and close it back up. So kind of keep that in mind. It's not exactly the shape that it's meant to be, but this is actually pretty voluminous, I think, as a as an EDC pouch. But that's still very small. As you can see, I can kind of palm it here. So it's kind of like, um, you know, a handheld device. You can see that inside there, there's a little bit of rubberized lining. So I think this should handle moisture pretty well. Um, it looks like the snaps connect here on the bottom and there's two long ones so you could put this you know weave this through other molly webbing you could uh, clip it to your to your uh, belt there's um, other additional webbing right here on the back and the other thing on the inside in this main pocket there's a little separate pocket here so especially if you're kind of keeping credit cards or something like that um, oh look at that little stamp that's from the uh, prepper show that's nothing nefarious, That's so I could get in and out at my leisure. And, uh, you know, like I said, pretty big, all right? So, and I like the construction, and I like the fact that it's kind of squarish construction. Um, and it seems pretty durable. I mean, it seems <laughs> nicely built. It's actually a little stiff. There is Velcro up here, soft-sided Velcro. So if you have your team patch, your squad patch or something like that, or if you want to get a suit or a Mac patch or something like that, or a hang strange, you could do that. Additional two, uh, two Molly webs up on the front here. And that's kind of it. You know, it's pretty straightforward, you know, as a, in terms of an EDC pouch, uh, you know, I think this is kind of right in the sweet spot because it's not super big and it it gives you like i said a little bit of separation but it it can carry quite a bit of stuff and you can customize it a little bit so this enjoy deal pa pa edc peg is only seven dollars it's actually under seven dollars 6.99 i think from amazon and i got it with free shipping so pretty cool i'm gonna like i said use it to create my own little day packing kit peter from panda out